Hi, this is Guava Moment here, and I'd like to talk to you about intentionally terrible solutions. Now, in the old uh, thread for Space Cam, one of the people in the thread posted a challenge to make the first level as long as possible, but still output. I eventually came up with this. Basically, let's stop it again. I have a video of this on YouTube already, if you wanted to get a little bit more look at this, but blue goes around doing all this, there's one sink in the corner. Red has nothing but sinks. Eventually, it'll hit the input alpha, and then blue will grab it, spend all of its time rotating it around, dropping it, and eventually red will output the thing. Uh, so let's just speed ahead a little bit. Okay, so we finally got an oxygen inputted. I see blue just goes around. Since uh, rotates take time, it actually spends more time just by rotating this around, and so on and so forth, and eventually you'll get an output. I'll uh, see you guys in 11 minutes. Okay, are we done? We're done. Okay. 260,000 cycles. That took 11 minutes. Just uh, keep that in mind. So you might be thinking, hey, that was kind of fun. Why don't you make some kind of your own challenge where uh, you're trying to make your solution take as long as possible but still work? Well, the reason I'm not doing that is because the solution you just saw was of the original game. I've recreated the solution in uh, ResearchNet, and there's a difference. You get flip-flops in ResearchNet. How much of a difference will that make? Well, let's, uh, let's do this. Now this doesn't look too terrifying at first glance, but I'll, I'll walk you through it. Blue starts by going through all of these flip-flop things. Okay, well first of all, red hits a sink, and blue starts going through this whole link of flip-flops. There are 41 flip-flops. It'll go through all of those and hit the sink. Red will go through once. Then blue will again go through all 41 flip-flops. Red will go through again, this time that flip-flop is activated. And so on, so until red goes through all 37 red flip-flops. Inputs an oxygen, spins it, drops it. Note that the output is before the drop. So uh, it'll keep going like this, it'll eventually output oxygen. It'll have to go through this 11 full times, because it'll the 10th oxygen will be sitting here while red comes in with the 11th and then outputs it. So how long is this solution going to take? Well, I could just sit here and wait until it finishes. Okay, maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'll have to calculate how long this actually takes to finish. For one blue cycle, there are 41 flip-flops. This is called flip-flop 1. Uh, blue makes this loop 2 to the power of 40 times. So that's 4 cycles times 2 to the power of 40. It'll go through the loop with this second flip-flop here, 2 to the power of 39 times, and that's 6. And then with the next flip-flop, it goes through these 8 squares, 2 to the power of 39 times? Because that's 2 to the power of 40, 2 to the power of 39, 2 to the power of 38 times. So that's one more time. 4 times 2 to the power of 40. 6 times 2 to the power of 39. 8 times 2 to the power of 38 and so on and so forth, and you very quickly see that that series converges to 6. That means that the average loop that blue makes, or that, the average number of cycles that blue takes to make one loop and hit back to start, converges to 6. Similarly for red, the average number of cycles red takes through one trip through the flip-flop maze is 16. So the total number of cycles the solution takes 2 to the power of 41, the number of flip-flops that need to be activated for blue to go through, times 6, the average number of uh, squares blue goes through in one cycle. We have to multiply that by 2 to the power of 37, the number of times red goes through the flip-flops, multiply that by 16, the number of times, or the, the average number, or the average path length of red through the flip-flop maze. Then we have to multiply that by 11, 
the number of times the whole thing has to go through before Red finally outputs the tenth oxygen. Uh, now we know from that previous solution I, sh I showed you of uh, with all the rotates and whatnot that it takes 11 minutes to do 260,000 cycles at max speed. So we have our math here, we can calculate how long this solution will take to solve in minutes. The answer is... 26 quadrillion years! To put that into perspective, the universe is about 14 billion years old. So 1.8 million universes will have to go by before this solution finishes. So you can see why I'm not too keen on making challenges that you're trying to make as long as possible, because it gets ridiculous. And I don't want to get dramatic here, but I'm not really a spiritual person, but looking at this solution, this must be what staring into the face of God feels like. Because I understand it enough to know that it's going to work and that it's going to take a really long time. But to really comprehend 26 quadrillion years, that's just something so beyond. I mean, this could... Ha if you started this solution at the moment the universe was created, it would not have outputted one single oxygen yet. It would still be happily flip-flopping away. So, uh, there you go. That's why I'm not making a challenge to have a solution take as long as possible, because once you get flip-flops in there, it gets ridiculous.